Hello everyone, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Arts. Since today I bring you a different video, a little scary, but probably going to be very fun and a little bit out of my comfort zone. So drum roll please. Da 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 This is my new drawing tablet. So I did a uh, digital art back in 2013 with a Cintiq tablet. So I'm hoping that this will be, it won't be the same of course, but you know, I, I need to be on a budget. So this is on Amazon for $35, $35.98 plus shipping. So this is an Inspiroy Huan. Huan, I don't know how you say it, Huan, uh, Inspiroy H430P. So I, I just heard so many reviews, good reviews on this. It's great for travel and it's a compact size so I can carry it back home to America with no problems. And I have a small space here so I cannot have a big tablet. So this will be used for my mock-ups my um sketching process anything or maybe even probably finished art too i i did love you know uh i did love digital art i don't know why i stopped but i did but this channel i will still be doing you know traditional art but every once in a while i'll be doing digital art so let's open this i am so excited so it has a a illustration of an alligator guy here and it then battery free pin tablet one and on the back the specs are on the back the dimensions it has millimeters wait but the dimensions are four point eight by three inches working area and 135 grams is lighter than a mobile phone so active area well that's active area is 4.8 by 3 inches the dimensions of the actual size uh, I'm not quite sure I'll have to get back on you um, but the millimeters is 108.6 by 139.2 by 6.3 millimeters so the pressure sensitivity is um 4906 levels oh and as a disclaimer i am not a professional digital artist and i don't know a lot about tablets even if i did have uh, a cintiq in the past or i did do some digital art in the past so this looks pretty good and i it's usb micro usb i'm going to connect it to my um my windows computer my msi laptop and then it supports windows i can't see that mac os 10.11 or later windows i don't know what it's windows uh, 7 or later let's cut both of them made in china but you know, for the price, I don't think you can beat it. Um, there are cheaper Huan tablets, but this is um, the best one that I, see, I, I saw for the price and for the quality. And it comes with a great card. Thank you for choosing Huan. Thank you for choosing Huan. Our goal is for you to be 100% happy with your new Huan product. And they have a Huan Facebook page. You have to go online for the drivers, and I heard that there's no problem with the drivers, but I'll find out pretty soon. Um, it says huon.com slash uh, forward slash download, but I heard from uh, another YouTube uh, YouTuber that you should just do forward slash support, and it gives you the, the options to see which, which uh, model you need to download the driver from. And then here's the the, the um, a moment of suspense 
so it feels wonderful let's take it out of the wonderful the package okay so wow it's very modern like and flat and smooth has four keys up here two on the right two on the left and here is the working uh, area 4.8 inches by 3 inches and then little feet here to place it on the desk and so I was looking um, b between like um, versus like walk come in tools so really the differences were <coughs> I mean the, this is flat completely the Intuos has a slight angle which could be a problem you know but I think I won't be drawing many hours on this so it wouldn't be that big of a problem for me so uh, and it'll be just for travel it, and when I go back to America I would be getting a bigger larger one anyways and then it comes with a glove I never used a glove before this reminds me of um, playing pool. I had a glove for playing pool. I don't know when this ever started. In 2013, I don't remember any digital artist wearing these. But yeah, so let's see if it fits my fat hand. So I'm right-handed, so then... Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, so the thumb goes here. And okay, well, it fits my big fat hand. So, well, this should be comfortable, more comfortable wearing this in drawing, but it makes me feel like I'm playing pool. And then the I also uh, saw this beforehand in a review before I bought it, but the pin is battery free which was a big deal for me I didn't want a heavy pin so this pin is lighter and smoother and but I heard some people not liking it because it would lead to discomfort if you use it too much so because of there being no grip no grip on the pin um, but it does feel slick and modern uh, I don't think it would be a great problem and then the tip itself the nib is plastic which the Wacom uh, tip uh, wasn't just straight plastic but I really don't don't think that would be much of a problem when I draw um, but so it does also come with extra nibs and a metal rib to take the nibs off put it back on like so there's no pin holder but I really don't think that's gonna be a problem for me I have no room as it is on my desk uh, so because I have I do have a long desk next to me that my laptop sits on but I have a big aquarium next to that so there's no room here and this is the USB cable and then the port that connects to the tablet itself and then to the computer and then a uh, user's guide so that's it for what it, what it includes and then let's get started on drying so I do have paint tool site and Photoshop but I heard that the pin pressure has problems with paint tool side, but we'll see what if it does or not. And but I'll try Photoshop as well. Okay, everyone. So this is where you need to go to get your driver. www.huontablet.com uh, forward slash support instead of forward slash download. So so here are all the graphic tablets. That uh, models and you just simply need to look for Huan H430P which is right here click on it click on it and click either Windows or Mac and I have Windows so I'm going to click on Windows 
and right here down on the bottom it's downloading right here for me and then when it's done downloading we'll get started on the actual drawing experimentation So the first thing I'm doing, I'm using Photoshop and it's been six years since I've used Photoshop for anything other than thumbnails. So I forgot to press the pressure sensitivity icon on the top right. So this whole process on Photoshop was not done using that. So I put myself through pain and agony for nothing. but. If maybe if I had it on I could have got the line art in Photoshop only but as you find out later I actually downloaded uh, the the line art into paint site and I did my line art in paint site even back in 2013 I always did my line art in paint site just because it the line art in paint site is just so much smoother and it takes less effort but I'm going to try again, you know, it was just a running start only this time, only a running start. So if I had the pressure sensitivity on and with more practice and more muscle memory, everything will be great. It should be, right? So I'm using um, layers. I just start off at first and I was not sure what I was doing with the hands. I just didn't. I wasn't looking at a reference. You know, I had, I had just, I just had an idea in my head and I went with it. Um, so the right hand, I did kind of keep that posture later, that pose. The left hand this way wasn't kept, but it was kind of my idea. I think I kept it, but that left hand is going to be palm up later because it doesn't look quite that way now. So, and I, this is for Mermaid. I'm getting ready to do Mermaid every day next month. I have a Mermaid prompt uh, for uh, next month. So you should find my Instagram to find that prompt. I have, I have every week is different. Every first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. First week would be fantasy creatures or fantasy monsters. First week will be, second week will be birthstones. Third week will be sea creatures. Fourth week will be um, random or just miscellaneous. So I'm just super excited. This will be the first for me. I've never done this before, but every day I'm going to be drawing and I'll be making videos on only mermaid, mermaid and maybe the occasional different video, probably only mermaids for the whole month. So I cannot make a video every day for the whole month, but I'm going to try three videos every week. So three videos. I also have Ohu markers that I got along with this digital tablet. So I will be just just drawing up a storm digitally and traditionally, maybe both, because the digital tablet is also it's a great way to complement traditional art. So I could do sketches on the digital tablet and then do the traditional art, or I could do traditional art and finish it off digitally. Oh, it's just so much, um, so much I can do with it. And so the tablet is much smaller than uh, my original Cintiq, but I really didn't have a, I didn't actually have a lot of adjustment to do. It, I really took well to this, and it wasn't that hard. Yes, later my left shoulder started hurting only because I think my desk is kind of elevated too high for me. And the control Z, I did control control control, uh, control Z like a madman. I just clicked that button so many times, especially during the Photoshop phase. And so the small size is great. I think it'll be great for travel. And the Huan tablet, uh, I've I've heard great reviews about it. 
uh, even versus Wacom and it's just um, and it's also used for the game a game Osu Osu something like that and it's even better than Wacom in that game not that I'm going to play that game and so it's uh, the pen itself is uh, the surface is smoother and the nibs are harder which is a little bit of a con but it's really not you know compared to drawing on us on the surface of an iPad it's just it's not bad at all and Wacom of course it does feel like like you're like a real pencil and paper it's more true to that but other than that I felt no difference at all besides that my Cintiq was a direct um, extension of my um, program so I drew directly onto the actual um, screen you know with that but so this way I have to look at the my I look at my computer monitor and my hand has to draw you know my hand is separate from from that so I have to look and draw at the same time you know my eyes are not looking down so they're looking up so I had to get used to that and that was fine I got used to that there was no problem and so but never use the the hot keys on the top because um they just didn't really i well maybe i just had to get used to it but i did use the clicking um the grip on the actual um pin the bottom grip would change to an eraser sometimes maybe i clicked i clicked wrong or something and it didn't do it but most of the time if i clicked it it would turn to the eraser and i could use the eraser And so the field book it didn't work out very well because I had to go with my paint, my paintbrush, and you know, and fill in the little gaps. Maybe that's something that I had the wrong setting for. I didn't put it on the right setting. Maybe um, I had to look into that. But yeah, the the paint, the paint bucket didn't work out very well, and I had to just just hand do it. So I filled in all the colors here. And you know, and I'm not going too crazy. Uh, this is my OC, but I just want simple, flat colors. And as I realized later, I didn't give her eyelashes on her right eye. I don't know why. I tend to just forget some things like that. Um, but at, as you can see, her hand is upturned, and there's some kind of whirling um, magic, or she's creating a like a thunderstorm or not thunderstorm but uh maybe a storm in the water or she's just creating magic and then i am going in with each color that she is i'm going with a darker shade slightly darker shade to give her a little bit of shaded a uh, look now, since I pulled the line art from Paint Tool Sai and I used um, the paint bucket tool, I couldn't just do it under the line art, which I would have probably done before. Uh, so that's just something I probably would uh, do differently next time. Definitely, um, maybe not use the paint paint bucket at all, and and then just go with um, the the. Uh, I'm looking for a word. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just, I would just go with the brush tool. I would just go with the brush tool and and color that way simply. So I wouldn't have to, um, you know, go back and race. But I probably still have to do that anyways, even if I do that. But there's just some things that I have to relearn and redo, readjust to things. Uh, back when I was um, a digital artist before, I did My Little Pony and Transformers, and I went through that phase. Uh, so, you know, but, and I did a lot of vectors back then, you know, with the pen tool. I love the pen tool uh, in Photoshop. And so, the pen and the tablet felt really comfortable. I would say that if I, if I keep my posture better every time I draw I can I would probably always be comfortable and it just took me a while for this this run here so the since um 
and then, you know this is also half the price of welcome into us so it just really is perfect for me and even though walk home is probably beats this um but not enough for me to to see the value in buying that over over this one And I really, and it works with Paint Tool Sai. Earlier, I said in the intro part, it didn't work with Paint Tool Sai, or I heard it didn't work. It worked perfectly with Paint Tool Sai. I had no problems with the drivers or Paint Tool Sai. Both programs worked perfectly, nothing. The pin pressure, all, everything was just right. And I would be, and I'm very satisfied with this tablet. And this is not really a review i'm trying to give my my points on the on this tablet but it's more yeah how i feel about it but i'm also not a professional digital artist i don't know a lot about tablets but thank you for watching and please subscribe hit the notification bell and like the video and see you next time for the next exciting video i plan to do many mermaid challenges this coming month with digital and traditional art, mostly marker art since I got new Ohohus. So see you next time.